This is Alfred Molteni's Carutoscope. In 1885, he had some very early ideas of how to project assimilated motion. Another early device was the Canora. This is at least uh, perhaps 120 years old. It was a race between many people to come up with this idea. They were all very interested in projecting motion picture images. My grandfather started way back in the early days of cinema. At a very early age, he would go up to the projection booth and see the workings of the old projector and the, and the light going onto the screen. And from that moment, he knew that he had to be in this industry. My father was also very uh, enamored with his father's work. He also became a cinematographer. And then years later, <laughs> I saw this family heritage and I couldn't escape. I had to be a cameraman as well. I won an Emmy Award for a PBS show called 321 Contact. Uh, this is the Sprinkler Sprink Sprinkled, one of the earliest uh, Lumiere films. This print is well over 100 years old. This uh, Lumiere cinematograph and it was given to my grandfather by uh, Francis Dublier, who was one of the original Lumiere cameramen. Both my grandfather and father were film historians, and they also collected the earliest film equipment and projectors so that that technology and its history could be preserved. My grandfather and father were both interested in innovation. They liked to make better images, and they sought to improve projection techniques. One of the desires of cinematographers and directors is to have the images they create be translated to the screen in the way that they intended. You don't want anything to make distract you from the story. There's always a drive for something new and a new way to present it, a better way, and, and be received well by an audience. The art of the cinema is always evolving, and there's always new innovation. The first cinema uh, projection, the light wasn't very bright. There were different technical problems to overcome. Not only diffused the light, this flask, but it also cooled the light, because they didn't want the light to be too hot on the, on the nitrate film. So the heat of this light wouldn't hit the film. What is advanced is the much more precise projector movement, much finer optics, far more efficient and run very coolly. Innovation changes the way we, we make the movies and it changes the way we watch the movies. It never stops. But it's quite striking that the way we project the image has prevailed over 130 years. We're still within the confines of this original technology. And now we look forward to a whole new technology. This is a game-changing event. This is my first experience with the Onyx screen, and I have seen no technology like this before. The texture of the blacks is very good. The light source is coming from us from the screen. Um, it's a whole new dynamic. The Onyx uh, screen is definitely a huge difference in technology. When I see new things in the cinema um, and go to the movies, sometimes I think of my father and grandfather. My grandfather and father would be amazed at the advances in technology. But I think that they would be very impressed with the innovation. <laughs>